Hey, so welcome back. We're in Exodus chapter 23, today verses 2 and 3. There's several laws right in here that have to do with a true and false witness. So we'll read it out here. You shall not follow the masses in doing evil, nor shall you testify in a dispute so as to turn aside after a multitude in order to pervert justice, nor shall you be partial to a poor man in his dispute. So we're just going to take those two verses here and think a little bit about that. This goes right along with what we spoke of yesterday uh, about the urgency of truthful, tr uh, telling truth in, in our world, both then and, and today. So it says, you shall not follow the masses in doing evil. So let's just start with that. Uh, do you know that people today are so worried? We are so we are a social people. God designed us to be a social people. So that's that's true. But uh, people are so worried they might be called a name. Oh no, somebody's going to call me a name. I'm going to run for my mommy. But uh, here it says, you know, do not follow the masses in doing evil. So we've got to get over this business about, oh, I'm afraid what people will say. Oh, if I say something about Jesus, they're going to think I'm a religious fanatic. Well, what's more important, to be uh, a witness for Jesus or to be regarded uh, that somebody regards some one or two people maybe regard you as a religious fanatic. Which is more important to you? If not being regarded as a religious fanatic is more important than following Jesus, my friend, I would suggest you need to be reconverted. Jesus died on the cross for me. I think I can resist uh, and live, uh, survive a little bit of name calling against me. So the masses tend to do evil, don't they? Because, uh, you know, wide is the way that leads to destruction, Jesus taught, and Few there are that really embrace that. Narrow is the way that leads to life, and few there be that find it. And wide is the way that leads to destruction. And, you know, there's there's big crowds just shoveling in on the long, wide way. So what does that tell you about the masses? Do not follow, you know, the, the many to do evil. And so the many are going to be tending to be the larger group, are going to be tending to be the ones who are doing evil because they're going in at the wide gate. And so we've got to be people who can stand up be true to God, be true to conscience, be people of integrity and live with ourselves. And we know we don't need to follow the masses to do evil. Just because the masses uh, are saying, you know, X, Y, Z, doesn't mean you and I have to say X, Y, Z. Let's just be careful to be honest people. You shall not testify in a dispute to turn aside after a multitude to pervert justice. Justice is very important to God. And so again, we don't, because it's the popular thing to say or do, we don't just put our hand up and say, yeah, that's right, I agree. You probably don't agree because your conscience is telling you, I've read the Bible. I know what God's truth is. I know something about who Jesus is. Jesus would never be for this. Well, then guess what? You and I would never be for that. Now it says here, you shall not be partial to a poor man in his dispute. And there's some people who will automatically take the side of a poor person just because he's poor. You know, the, this person is this color, or he's this he's this ethnicity, or because it's a woman, I'm going to take this position. Women are always right. Um, we can't really argue that way. Oh, it's a kid. Kids are always telling the truth. Well, when I was a kid, I didn't always tell the truth. When you were a kid, did you always tell the truth? So sure, we want to be very careful and give the benefit of the doubt to people. But don't forget, you're also needing to be giving the benefit of the doubt to somebody who's accused of a crime. So here we're talking about justice, and the just thing is to be factual always, all the time. And God will bless that if we're very careful with the facts. If we're loose, loosely following the crowd to do evil, why, guess what? In the judgment, you'll meet that. With what judgment, with what mercy you want to have exercised towards you, you exercise that mercy toward others. With the judgment you want to be exercised towards you, you should exercise that kind of judgment toward others. So do to others as you would have them do to you. As far as I'm concerned, I would rather have people tell the truth about me. That's what I would like. And so I think we see here just a more magnification of the what, you know, Jesus and the golden rule. Let's be people who are always truthful. Even though the world around us is filled with lies uh, from sundown to sun, sunrise to sundown. Let's be people of truth. God bless you and watch over you.